Good morning, you guys. It's finally here. It is Vlogmas day one, and we are ready to get this party started. We are up and almost at them. <laughs> Hubby is off today, and so we've got some plans around here to transform this place into a winter wonderland or at least part of it anyway we're not going to get out in the black friday shopping this year although we usually do we usually are out there because i love it love the hustle and bustle and all the activity and all that kind of stuff but this year we've decided to stay home and do a little bit of decorating because life gets so busy especially with these soccer games if we don't do it today not sure when we can do it but it is time to get this face washed my teeth brushed and get on it there you go check it out you guys loving 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 these drawers so far working out very very nicely very nicely still no progress in the closet <laughs> but we did have to pull a hubs rack in here at least and now we got to work on getting mine out of that living room the goal will eventually be to have these units stacked on top of each other over here on this wall right in the center and then we will have double clothes racks on each side of it like an upper and lower rack for him and for me and then these cubbies will separate the two at least that's our hope that's my plan if it all works out so hopefully after the first of the year when things kind of calm down a little bit we'll finally be able to get the closet going because now we got to junk up our room with another clothes rack well the fellas are working on a little leak can you guys believe it we just moved in this bathroom you know you saw us painting it up don't even have a regular shower curtain yet just the liner and we already have a leak go figure look at all this mess you guys going through all of these boxes we had piled in the living room y'all remember that trying to get rid of a bunch of stuff and look what i came across let's see if i can set this down and show you I was going through a bunch of my grandmother's stuff that I got after she passed away that I actually forgot in a box. And I found these two super cute snowmen mugs. I didn't remember that she was into snowmen so much because she collected little teeny shoes. And I'm sure I probably get my love of shoes from her, but obviously I get my love of snowmen from her too. I don't ever remember seeing a lot of snowmen around her house whenever I was little and growing up. So that was kind of interesting after she passed that we had seen, I don't know, people may have just bought it for her for gifts because I don't remember her being super thrilled or excited over snowmen like I am. But anyway, after she passed and we were going through her stuff, I had come across all these snowmen. There's a couple little dishes too over here let me show you those that we found one of them is like a candle stand put the pillar candle down in there and then the other thing that we had found there was this super cute little dish you just sit out you could use that for a spoon rest or all kind of stuff so I'm glad I decided to go through these boxes today because I forgot that I had gotten those from her house after she passed away so new snowmen for my collection so in the process of trying to make all of this mess we have decided that we are going to try to condense all of these photo albums look here we've already got one finished over here working on one there here the hubs has one down there and look how many more there are still to go in a whole nother bin right there so we're trying to take the pictures out and we're just going to store them in one of these pretty little containers that we picked up at five below and just have them loose which could be a little dangerous in case they get bent when your house is a disaster pizza is what's for dinner mm -mm -mm. bon appetit my 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 we thought this was going to be a fast process today <laughs> Oh, look at this disaster we've got going on, you guys. This is awful, but we are making progress. Well, guys, look what's happened. Show them that piece of tile. <laughs> you guys know we still haven't been able to do the other part of the floor yet. So where this tile has been hanging unex unfinished off, caught a shoe tonight and popped right off. So never boring around here, that's for sure. <laughs> Look what we've had to do. Can you guys tell what that says? 
just says our wedding and it was this big show them like up against your chest it was a big album very big album but when we were going through this stuff tonight wow what a moldy smell see it's all been in these bins as we've been working from one end of the house to another and so some of the stuff that we've had down in the plastic bins you thought at the time was fine because the whole house just smelled the same and you didn't know you were smelling mold does that make sense like we didn't detect an odor because I guess we were so used to it. But now that everything has been cleaned out and we're opening up these bins, now it's like, whoa, we can really smell it. So we've had to tear so many things apart today and having to get rid of so many more stuff. I thought we were finished having to get rid of, you know, everything. I thought we were down to the point we could save stuff, but look what's happening now. So now the hubs has had to tear out all the sheets that had our pictures and he's having to take the frames off so that we can try to salvage the picture pass me over the ones you've got we'll show them you guys want to see some of our wedding photos we'll let you see a couple of them here as he's working wasn't he a handsome young man you guys look at that smile <laughs> he didn't know what he was in for <laughs> Oh my goodness, many moons ago, July 30th of this year, we celebrated 28 years. So these are pretty old, but, oh, show them your dad. My husband's father passed away back in 98. That's he and his dad. Very nice picture there. Anyway, at least we are going to be able to salvage the actual photos. Well, actuality probably should get rid of those too, which they had told us that when we were going with the professionals as far as all the assessments for what had to be done with mold remediation, many of them had said you got to get rid of it all. And of course, you try to hold on to everything you can because you're already replacing your life enough and it's expensive. So you're like, no, we want to hold on to as much as we can, but especially the memories. So even though the actual photos themselves see the mold spores live inside of leather inside of any kind of fabric anything that's porous those mold spores are going to hide and even though you can't see them like to look at these albums they look fine but the spores are there and you can obviously smell the evidence of that but we're at least going to salvage the pictures get rid of everything else and hopefully we can i don't know if there's something you can do about that or not but at any rate definitely not getting rid of those wedding photos well 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 our porch <laughs> looks about like it did not too long ago you guys seems we are always throwing stuff out but wanted to show you real quick that the hubs and bub did get the lights up yesterday we always like to start burning these on thanksgiving night let's see some of them had blown out though. There's a little patch on the far side that's up against the woods that nobody really sees anyway. But, got the rest of them up. Thought I might could show you across the top. There's a few more, but we'll show you that another night. Well, 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 look here you guys. One more pile that needs to be working its way into my office. Got just a few more little odds and ends to figure out. This little bin here that only has a couple little things in it, so we can do something about that. And we are just about done. This is definitely taking way longer today than we thought it would. So it looks like the tree is not going up until tomorrow. Time for a little break and nothing like leftover turkey. All right, you guys, so check it out. A definite <laughs> transformation. Got all of this junk out of here. So that means tomorrow we can get up and finally start pulling out the Christmas stuff and put away all this fall decor. Not really a lot to show you guys today because we've been a little busy, but feels a lot better in here. You know how that goes when you finally put the clutter away. On that note, I'm going to go ahead and say goodnight, y'all. I am a little tired, and I'll see you again tomorrow.